Hey everybody, welcome to The Recoup. I'm Cooper Daniels and I'm a guy that knows a little about a lot. And today it's my weekly algo rant. So let's get into it. First off, I wanna say this. You have the terrible, terrible events happening with Russia invading Ukraine. Yesterday, they hit a nuclear power plant and there was a lot of fears of the next Chernobyl, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. People don't know how far Putin's gonna take this. They don't know if they're gonna expand it out to you know trying to take things like Georgia or whatever, right? And then you have the idea, are they gonna actually challenge NATO countries? And then that's World War III. There's just so much going on. And all of this spike oil prices, which is exasperating inflation, and which puts markets under extreme pressure. There's just a lot, folks. If you're thinking right now, oh, Algorand's failing me, or Bitcoin's failing me, or whatever, whatever your investment that is failing you right now, it's because of the particular project. It very well might not be the project. It may be the entire global situation. And I wish I could say it was gonna get better. And eventually, of course it will. I mean, I hope. I'm, a, I'm an optimist, you know what I mean? I like to think of things positively. So I assume that there is a peaceful resolution to this at some point, but we don't know how far this is gonna go, right? So this is not, in my personal opinion, not financial advice, the what, how I'm approaching right now is that this isn't the time for me to be making wildly speculative bets. And granted, if you talk to a lot of the more traditional investors that I know in my life, they would be like, dude, you're in Bitcoin and Algorand and like tech companies, you're, all your stuff is risky. And I get that. But there's, there's degrees here, folks. So if you're in the Algorand ecosystem, maybe super speculative ASA bets might not be the best idea. At least that's how I'm approaching it, but that is fine. All right, So this morning I woke up to finding Yieldly, Yieldly's HDL to HDL pool. There was something going on, people were losing their HDL. Yieldly went on Twitter and said, hey everybody, why don't you take your HDL out of that pool so we can figure out what's going on. Is some sort of bot, like, I don't know, some, somebody's doing something with bots and kind of siphoning off some HDL from people. All right, fine. And then a few days ago, you know, Yieldly had put out a Medium article and it insinuated that there was a lot of changes happening with the team, all right? So, and then from a couple of reputable sources, I heard that all the devs left from Yieldly, okay? And then I tweeted about it and people got really upset. People act like you can only do one thing with this information. Clearly, there's a huge change happening with Yieldly leadership, okay? So that's information that you should know. You should know if you own Yieldly tokens that, um, that there's a big shakeup. Now, some people are gonna be like, oh my God, Yieldly is just another thing. It's going down. Yieldly is just, it, it just can't recover. And so they're gonna sell. But you might be somebody be like, look, this is just normal. They're switching it up. There was some conflict. They're getting new people in. It's going to be great. Yieldly's a first mover. And I believe in the CEO and the team that is still there. So this is an awesome opportunity for me to buy. Or you might think, all right, I don't want this. Everything is so risky right now. I And now this, there's so much uncertainty with this. I don't know what the truth is. I want to mitigate my risk on an already risky asset. So I'm going to move this to something else. Okay, however you want to do it. You can, you can approach this so many different ways. But what I want to do is to continue to provide as much information as I can. The reality that there are major shakeups on the tech team at Yieldly is there's no disputing that, okay? Today, word was getting passed around by very reputable people that all the devs left, okay? So I said it. I don't know. I don't know what you should do. What do you, what do you want to do? Do you believe in Yieldly? Hold, buy more. Are you concerned? Sell, move on. So that's it, that's it, all right. So, okay, good news, right? Well, first off, there was a massive protocol update announced this week by the Algorand Inc., Algorand Foundation. Everybody at the top was announcing this massive protocol upgrade. So they announced this week something called contract to contract calls. So 
basically what that means i'm going to link some articles in the description of this video if you are curious about it but contract to contract calls is a very good thing for algorand and it's going to allow developers to create much more sophisticated dApps, complicated dApps, and they're not gonna have to do all of the very complicated, convoluted things that they had to do before this upgrade, okay? Second, another thing that Algorand is doing, it is state proofs. Now, state proofs I talked about last week, and there's something called Falcon Keys. All right, well, Falcon Keys are quantum resistant, quantum proof, okay? So basically what you're going to do is you're going to use, they're going to use Falcon keys in order to generate state proofs. Eventually, this is all coming. I think they said quarter two state proofs are coming. Falcon keys are basically a reworked thing. There's the concern with the advent of quantum computers that your public key, they'll be able to extract your private key out of that with quantum computing, right? There's concern about the keys. Well, Algorand has created something called Falcon Keys, and it's a the math is completely different and is quantum safe. All right, and they're going to use Falcon Keys in order to generate state proofs, and that's going to ensure, even in the world of quantum computing, that the Algorand state is accurately kept, and it keeps on going, and it cannot be disrupted by a quantum computer. The point is, is that. Algorand made some awesome announcements about tech advancements this week. And look, people just can't help themselves but complain. You know what I mean? You just can't because you're like, see, like if you bought it $2 recently and now you're looking at it 80 cents or whatever it was, I haven't even looked. But I'm sure it's down because everything's down, right? So there's that, the protocol update. And then they also, um, they announced, so this is funny. So they announced that they have partnered up with Gotham FC, and that is a woman's soccer team. I think that it is the premier professional woman's soccer team, Gotham FC. And uh, yeah, you know, the new jerseys are gonna say Algorand on it. And I think people kind of assumed that's it. So, okay, Algorand spending money to, uh, sponsor a woman's soccer team and then they just and then they you know the jokes ensue and the ridicule uh proceeds and i have a couple of thoughts about this one hot take female soccer is actually awesome for one american female soccer players are are absolutely dominant on the world stage some of the u.s's most popular um, female athletes are soccer players. So look, women's soccer is awesome. Now, you could make a case nobody cares. I mean, and I think you could also make that case for male soccer in the United States. A lot of people don't really care. But okay, and you're like, well, you're wasting money on sponsoring a female soccer team. Nobody gives a shit about that. Okay, fine, make it. But that's not what they're doing. They're not just throw a bunch of money to put their name on a jersey of a female soccer team. That's not what they did. They, they're creating a whole experience on the blockchain with this club. It's gonna help the club because it's also going to kind of create a, a whole experience for the fans. It's not gonna just be going to a game. There's gonna be, you know, I, I mean, if you read the article creating like NFT scavenger hunts and there's gonna be, you know, giveaways and they're doing the whole thing. They're putting the ticketing and merchandise buying all on the blockchain. They're doing, they're doing a lot of cool stuff. And this is a test case, right? They're gonna create a cool thing with this club and hopefully that's gonna help create more fan engagement and want you know to get people to come on and but also you you also will be showing that this works and it is creating excitement and there's a lot of cool stuff and that you know then you do it there and then you can start doing it other places like sometimes people's vision is lacking like look past the fact that you hate female sports um and see what they're actually doing folks I don't know. My wife, when um, she woke up, she was like, what's this Mexican app on my phone? Para? Like, what is this, a female dog? Like, look, what is this? <laughs> I was like, that's your, that's your new Algorand wallet, honey. 
No, she actually speaks Spanish, so she was like, para wallet? Like, they didn't even spell para right. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'm excited to be able to see my NFTs in that wallet, though. What else? What else do I have to say here about all the things? I'm not even going to do Artists of Algorand this week. It's just, look, it's a weird, it's just a weird time. I'll jump back on to Artists of Algorand next week. You know, I mean, how about today? You know, the artist of Algorand is every damn artist in the Algorand ecosystem. Everyone that is building, everyone that is creating, everyone that is trying to achieve, everyone that's trying to create value for their projects, everyone that is not a rug. You know, the, the, the artists of Algorand are all the artists. Right now is a time. There's People are making judgments like, do I lock in profit or do I... You know, do I stop loss here? Like whatever, whatever your situation is right now, I get it. It's a hard decision to make and it's certainly not a decision I can make for you. I am willing to share with you what I'm doing. I'm not really adding much. There is a price. If algo really kind of the bottom falls out, I will start adding again because I'm bullish on it. I'm long. I'm very long on it. But I'm also looking at things like Bitcoin right now as a desirable thing as well because of what's happening in the world. So those are that's where my head is. Okay? And there's one last thing I'll say. You know, people are like, you know, people that fud their own bags and stuff like that. You know, there's like, you know, they're like this kind of like this idea that you shouldn't fud your own bags. Okay. Well, yeah, it seems kind of silly that you have investments and then you go talk about them in a negative way. Why would you do that? But at no point am I ever trying to negatively talk about a project or anything from a malicious standpoint. What I am trying to do is I'm trying to provide good information so that you know the things and then you can make your own decisions. So the fact that, that I think it would be much more immoral or it would be much shadier of me, let's say I bought Zone, right? Which I did and I was down on it, which I am. And if I went on my show every day to talk about how wonderful Zone is and how you guys should all buy it because it is the it's going to revolutionize this this and this and this and this and it didn't actually represent how I actually felt and I'm just saying that to you because I want you to buy it so I can get the hell out, that wouldn't be, that's not cool. That's not what I'm trying to do here. No. Okay. So I made not a huge investment in Zone, but I made an investment in Zone. I'm down on it. I am bullish of it. I'm bullish long term. I'm not great at chess, so I'm not trying to go play chess right now, but I love bowling. I like the little fruit cutting thing. I mean, I will use zone. I mean, but I'm infinitely disappointed with this launch. I'm so disappointed with my elephant. I'm, you know, like, so I'm going to say it. Why? Why not? I'm trying to deliver real news. I'm not trying to pump your bags. I'm not trying to pump my bags for the for the love of God. That's for sure. I'm not trying to do that. I'm just not. That's not wh what I am. That's not who I am. And that's not why I started to do this show. I don't care, actually. It's unfortunate. And my wife doesn't like that very much. But things will work out, I believe. I believe in my conviction. I believe in algo. And I believe in Bitcoin. And I believe in a lot of other things. But... That's where my conviction lies. We'll see how it plays out. All right, everybody. Hey, if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe. And yeah, thank you for watching. Do your homework.